Hey, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Ronak Doshi, and I'm continuing my conversation with our insurance and retirements uh, technology and services. Uh, you know, senior analyst and leader in this space, Radhika here. Hey, Radhika, how are you? Hi, Ardi. I'm good. So, Radhika, you and I have been talking about the changes that have been happening in the retirements industry. You know, the nature of the forces across regulations to customer experience to legacy technology, the fee pressures, and all of those things. i thought let's talk about how data and technology are playing a critical role in kind of you know alleviating some of these challenges and what are their you know what, what's what's your thought process on that so as we discussed uh, previously there is a significant vendor lock in with legacy mainframe systems and most of the players are looking for an exit strategy uh, they are considering in some cases incremental modernization and in others are putting together the best in class technologies for the same now this is not primarily to move out of their legacy although it is one of the major reasons another reason is also the customer journey experience with hyper personalization and hyper segmentation becoming like the key words in a customer experience journey now firms are also having to invest in data analytics and ai ml for behavioral analytics and predictive analytics to provide customers with a holistic end to end journey omni channel communication and targeted personalized product offerings are something that firms are already investing in to build out there's also an increasing demand for digital and technology driven customer experience with big techs driving this customer experience innovation the bar has been set high for all other industries including retailers customers are expecting the same ease of access self service and on demand services uh retirement firms have also started investing majorly in mobile applications building out chatbots and automation to make this process a little more easier for customers Financial education and wellness programs are now key priorities for employees to consider, with yeah. uh, while remaining with an employer. Given the firms are investing heavily in building out these services and are looking for more virtually interactive methods to ensure that customers are well involved and understand their portfolio, interactive graphic user interface, upgrades to websites, and advanced robo advisors are gaining momentum in this space. Another key concern that has recently prompted moves by the regulatory authorities is this increasing number and sophistication of cyber crimes, with the adoption of digitization at an all-time high, and the pace is not likely to drop anytime soon. This has increased the cause for concern. Cyber security and data privacy has therefore taken a priority both for retirement firms as well as customers in this space. And and it's interesting, right? Because uh, Radhika, at one end we are saying that. you know managing that end to end experience orchestration of that customer journey through their life cycle to plan that retirement experience is the key thing you're providing them those products and experience through the channels of their choice and enabling a lot of trust by creating transparency in the product design communication and making it more secure be it in human or digital assisted channel and then infusing a lot of data and intelligence into the operations that are running right not just the front office but the mid back office operations and all the while we realize i think the big point that you mentioned at the start which kind of resonates the most with me is hey there's a lot of lock in with the existing legacy systems mainframe based systems this vendors and that replacement is what everybody is asking so we will see a huge amount of you know activity in terms of modernization in the market which will um, be i think you know the drivers of all of these that you've outlined is kind of you know fueling that so it's exciting to kind of you know see this space and you know look forward to more of your research and your commentary on here but thanks for taking your time today thank you adi